let the weight of this office rest on you and it will change you it will establish you in something new the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hamstraw thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Matthew chapter 10 verse 41 he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward and he that receives say receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward so here it says that you know you can receive different people on different levels now you would assume that the prophet would be a righteous man too would he not yes. he better be what Jesus is explaining here is there are degrees of people of anointings that if you receive them you can you can receive the reward of that person the reward being what that person has yes. but you receiving has something to do with it you receiving has something to do with it well the reward is equal to the gift that that person walks in mm -hmm. we know that a prophet is a ministry gift Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers notice he put pastors and teachers together yeah. all pastors would be somewhat of a teacher well he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a pastor shall receive the reward of having a pastor yes. is it rewarding to have a good pastor yes. he that receives a teacher shall receive a teacher's reward obviously whatever that person is anointed to teach you can receive that thing if I'm just received as a righteous man are you here yes. I'm a righteous man the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus if you receive me I may have something to give to you maybe some good wisdom mm -hmm. some edification exhortation and comfort and that would be good that'd be all well and good if that's the level you want to receive me on because mm -hmm. you have to do the receiving if you receive me as a teacher you would receive a good teaching is there anything wrong with that no. no but when you start looking at the other levels of what you could be receiving you left a lot on the table how about a pastor authority even more so mm -hmm. according to the word yes. well the pastor has a certain amount of authority that if you receive them as a pastor you can walk in the reward that the pastoral anointing and office has to give and a lot of people don't have that mm -hmm. can they walk in the reward of a pastor without having a pastor no. I'm not making this up I'm just trying to bring you along into it and believe me you haven't heard the half of it yet and I said that all pastors are teachers to one degree or another the Bible says they need to be apt to teach if they're gonna be in that office they need to be apt to teach and patient yeah. with people because they don't always get it right away mm -hmm. well if they're teaching and they're a teacher they're teaching things hopefully that they know about and that's what they can give you that's the reward you get for receiving them as a teacher there's reward there I've been taught a lot in my day from teachers most people are comfortable here being taught some stuff 
right i can teach you some stuff teach you this teach you that and you go oh yes i now i have some more understanding mm -hmm. people like that now remember when jesus was teaching and stepped up to a higher office this is where we're going today get ready put your seatbelt on mouth guard helmet whatever you need people were comfortable when jesus was teaching remember the big crowds crowds and crowds of people with jesus predominantly teaching things concerning the kingdom of god and everybody was okay with it but when he stepped up into that higher level of anointing that higher office mm -hmm. the people that were happy to hear some nice teaching mm -hmm. all of a sudden wanted to throw him off a cliff uh -huh. why is that they weren't ready for that other office they didn't like it they weren't ready to receive it who they had to be the ones to receive it if you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet many times people would just get up and leave they'd say that's enough i don't want to hear any more from him mark chapter 6 verse 4 but jesus said unto them a prophet is not without honor but in his own country among his own kin and in his own house mm -hmm. and he could there do no mighty work save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them they didn't receive him as a prophet they received him only as maybe a righteous man maybe but look what jesus did and he went around about the villages what teaching. teaching jesus had to default to teaching yes. it's the default where do most people like to stay on the default setting because yes. the teaching you can just go eh, and reject it and walk away so even Jesus defaulted to being a teacher well there's a great barrier that keeps people especially ministry gifts out of the higher callings of God and suppresses them and keeps them into the lower callings of god but those who would move up must break through and push past the barrier that people try to erect against them a lot of people are okay to get a good teaching for me i'll teach them something they'll say oh thank you that was a good teaching you did good with that teaching because they learned something mm -hmm. hopefully you can learn something but all of the gifts all of the gifts are preachers all of the gifts are teachers even the apostle will be a teacher the pastor is he going to be a teacher yes he's called the pastor teacher but you determine what room or office i stand in and what you can receive because there's rewards that come from each of the offices if you cause me to default into just being a teacher then you won't be able to have the reward that comes from the higher offices that i actually stand in yes. this makes sense yes, it does. your pastor's words should be more weightier than just teaching you had the apostle the prophet the evangelist the pastor teacher right and Jesus had we could see defaulted to being a teacher and I'm not I'm not criticizing teachers because there can be very anointed teachers you understand I'm not saying that mm -hmm. but a pastor his words should be more weightier than just a teaching because he stands in a higher office how about a prophet's words would they be more weightier than a pastor's words doesn't mean a, a, a pastor can't prophesy but a prophet's main ministry is to say thus says the lord so his words are weighty in the fact that the, he's saying what the lord is saying at the time yes. i'll go and take this all out of context i'm trying to take you somewhere so i'm just laying a generalized foundation here yes. so a prophet would be weightier still because he says thus says the lord what is the reward of that then the reward is thus says the Lord mm -hmm. 
and we can talk about apostles apostles are sent ones literally that's what the word apostle means a sent one yeah. a sent one with a message and the reality is that would be even more weightier than what the prophet was let's just prove this out this is jesus talking about john the baptist was john the baptist a prophet yes he was a prophet but look at this this is what jesus said matthew chapter 11 and verse 9 but what went you out for to see a prophet yay i say unto you and more than a prophet mm -hmm. say a prophet. a prophet and more than a prophet if you have a prophet and john the baptist was a good one mm -hmm. and then you have more than a prophet yeah. what's more than a prophet whatever john the baptist was yeah. okay and look what he says more than a prophet yea for this is he of whom it is written behold i send my messenger and that word messenger is translated apostle many other times behold i send my messenger before thy face which shall prepare thy way before thee meaning he shall establish so an apostle is someone with a message messenger that establishes mm -hmm. they have a message from god that will take you someplace you couldn't go without it not just a word from the lord not a good teaching not pastoral guidance all of which are godly and important and i'm not saying anything against them i'm just trying to stack things up for you so we can go where we need to go yes. more than a prophet G jesus said he would prepare the way he would establish the way to go mm -hmm. a sent one with a message that's what an apostle is a sent one with a message who establishes the way to go and if you don't have that you can't go there mm -hmm. right? right apostles are not just people that start churches apostles can start churches but just because you started a church doesn't make you an apostle mm -hmm. you get this yeah. just because you started three churches doesn't make you an apostle an apostle is not something you make yourself anyway it's something god sets you in an office that's right i started this church as a teacher and i taught a lot of stuff a lot of it was very good did that make me an apostle no, no. i started this church as a teacher and then i became a pastor that he became a pastor, became a pastor. <laughs> which meant i entered into the pastoral anointing the pastoral office mm -hmm. after a period of time proving myself this is how god does things mm -hmm. but there's a progression can you see this now, kenneth hagan said no one ever starts off in the office of an apostle you don't start off in the office of apostle you prove yourself over time in some other say some other some other, some other offices and then he sets you in it yes. acts chapter 13 verse 1 now there were in the church that was at antioch certain prophets and teachers so they were either a prophet and a teacher or prophets and teachers and as they ministered or worshiped the lord and fasted the holy ghost said who said this the holy ghost said separate me barnabas and saul for the work whereunto i have called them so they being sent forth by the holy ghost departed they had a message and they were sent forth by the holy ghost this is when they became sent ones with a message an apostle were they apostles before this yeah. no they were apostles because they entered into that office before this they were either prophets or teachers mm -hmm. and then they were set in a higher office say a higher office. a higher office you see what's happening here they're being promoted to a higher office and people are promoted often to a higher office by being faithful 
in the lower office that they were in mm -hmm. well I started a church as a teacher and I became a pastor and when I entered into the pastoral office and I started saying pastory kind of things people left <laughs> they didn't like it mm -hmm. are you here yes. what didn't they like well they didn't like you as a pastor no they liked me as a teacher but when I entered into a higher anointing or a higher office which carries with it higher authority to say things mm -hmm. and I started saying the things with higher authority they didn't like it so they left some people can't handle the things you say with the new authority it bothers them they don't like it they don't like the sound of it it irritates them it grates on them they're like ah, I don't like that I'm not going back there and guess what happens a lot of pastors stop saying those things mm -hmm. don't they mm -hmm. why because they know what it, they know what happens you can tell you can tell when you say something and it hits somebody and they go Ugh. they're like oh they'll, they'll never come back yeah. how about when you enter into the prophet's anointing or the prophet's office what's that gonna do even more so yes. even more people and I've been here and when you enter into that guess what happens more people leave mm -hmm. they didn't want to receive you as that they were happy with receiving you as just a teacher mm -hmm. as long as you're teaching the things they want to hear mm -hmm. that's the problem with the pastor's office is they're required to say things lots of times that people don't want to hear and the problem with the prophet's office is you don't know what they're gonna say <laughs> and usually they get right up in your business mm -hmm. in front of everybody well anyway some people can't handle the things you say with the authority that you stand in when you're in that next level so they try to keep you where you were mm -hmm. and the it's the temptation is to not rock the boat and just stay where you are mm -hmm. so you don't you know ruffle anybody's feathers mm -hmm. but and I've preached on the prophets anointing you know that that frankly that's that's kind of where you live it, it it you feed on ruffling people's feathers how people put up with that and stay with it you know they're they got to be committed anyway one of my mentors for many years he just said you keep driving the bus you're making the stops picking people up and people get off the bus people get on the bus but you just keep driving the bus and we're going forwards I hope I'm getting some of this across but teaching listen teaching will only take you so far same with pastoring I'm not against pastors I'm not saying you won't continue to need teachers and I'm not saying you won't continue to need a pastor they're great but those anointings and those offices will only take you so far and the same thing with the prophet's office and prophecy will only take you so far but apostles will carry the message that was given to them and that message has the equal authority with the message to say it and it will take you to a place you couldn't go with any of the other offices apostles are a sent one with a message say a sent one with a message, sent one with a message. and when they deliver that message you're able to go to the place that the message will take you and you can't go there without it are you here let the weight of this office rest on you and it will change you it will establish you in something new let's turn there Romans chapter 1 verse 11 for I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end that you may be established mm -hmm. so he as an apostle carried a message 
an anointing in that office that would establish people in something that they couldn't be established in without it well I'm telling you and I hope you can hear it the anointing in this office and the words that come forth from the office of the apostles sound different they sound strange in fact it's the same with any of the higher if you're used to just teaching when the pastor says something in the pastoral's office it sounds different mm -hmm. and then when the prophet says something standing in his anointing it sounds different you can hear it it sounds different yes. a lot of people have heard that mm -hmm. but you know what a lot of people haven't heard is a sound coming from an apostle's office where the, that is a sent one with a message it sounds a lot different yes. and a lot of people aren't used to it let alone the message sometimes the message sounds strange it's not something you've heard before say it's not something I've heard before, it's not something I've heard before. the natural inclination is to recoil from it and to reject it well I have a message and you determine the office that I stand in for you you know a lot of people would say I've never heard that before I've been a believer for 40 years and I've never heard that before I've never heard anyone say I worship you Holy Ghost I would agree I've never heard anyone say it mm -hmm. and it sounds strange doesn't it sound strange yeah sounds strange when you first hear it and you go well that sounds different well where's it coming from nobody said thus saith the Lord before it it wasn't a prophecy where did it come from right. well you'll often hear me say I speak from the room of Holy Ghost worship and it's up to you as to whether you receive what I'm saying or not if you just want to receive it as a nice teaching I've never been taught that before then that's as far as you can go with it mm -hmm. and thank God you got taught something mm -hmm. but when I say the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words those are new words and they come from this room of Holy Ghost worship it's why they sound different and they will take you someplace that you've not been before is this true yes. mm -hmm. but I often caution people because if you go here and you start worshiping the Holy Ghost as God it will destroy many of the other things that they felt precious and they held on to for years precious beliefs the way you like to think about things it'll destroy it because it's a new belief it's a new way of believing it's a new way of living it's a higher way of living a higher way of believing let the weight of this office and the authority of these words rest on you and you will not stay the same you will be established in the new the new place the new way the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him it's you and him is that different yes. is that scriptural yes. most people when they first hear that they want to go back and grab onto all of the other things that they've somehow been taught over the years mm -hmm. this supersedes it yes. and destroys it why would that be it's a greater anointing coming from a greater office it's better say it's better. it's better the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words Jesus is not here who is here Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost is here Jesus personally is in heaven at the Father's right hand physically raised from the dead that's what we're supposed to believe as believers he's in heaven right now and what shall return say shall return, shall return. does that mean he's here no. no he is in heaven personally with the Father and they sent the Holy Ghost to be with us yes. 
who is the one with us the Holy Ghost is with us do those words sound strange if you're hearing them for the first time they're way strange mm -hmm. but they will take you somewhere that you've never been before John chapter 14 verse 16 and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he say he, he that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth he, who's the spirit of truth the holy, the holy ghost so the holy ghost is the spirit of truth the holy ghost is the comforter that they will send mm -hmm. and he will abide with you yes. jesus is going to go away to the father and pray or ask him to send the another comforter the spirit of truth and he will abide with you forever did this happen yes. did jesus go to the father mm -hmm. did he send the another the comforter yes. then who's abiding with you he, is. he the holy ghost is well he is a person he is god he is Emmanuel God with us that's what Emmanuel means God with us when Jesus was here Jesus was Emmanuel God with us then Jesus left say Jesus left Jesus left, Jesus left and sent the Holy Ghost the another and then the Holy Ghost is with us the Holy Ghost is God he's Emmanuel God with us mm -hmm. in this day well Jesus is not here he left and sent another and jesus the real jesus shall return shall is in the future mm -hmm. your walk in the earth today is with the person of the holy ghost but he's not jesus jesus didn't turn into the holy ghost the holy ghost is god he's in the earth and he's the spirit lord that's where we are today wake up stop playing these stupid games these religious games that we can all teach on and preach on nah, 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 nah. now the reality is that's it he's the only god in the earth today his name is the holy ghost he's the one that jesus and the father sent to be say be be, be with us he be mm -hmm. does he be he be he's the spirit lord and because he is god you should worship him do you know you should worship god yes. is the holy ghost god yes. he is god i can take you scripture after scripture my my object tonight is not to default to teaching that the holy ghost is god in the scriptures over and over prove it he's god and he's a person mm -hmm. he's in the earth he's the one to be with us he's in the earth and he be with us he is god and the bible over and over instructs us to worship god revelation 19 10 says specifically worship god yeah. worship god mm -hmm. holy ghost is god holy ghost is god worship god mm -hmm. are you getting this then luke chapter 4 verse 8 says thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve yes. but you've been taught by people without this message to not worship the holy ghost mm -hmm. can you see the problem You've been taught for years by people without this message to not worship God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. but I'm telling you as a sent one with this message and in this office that you should worship God you should worship the Holy Ghost yes. indeed you must worship him if you want to go where this message will take you so what's the reward of this 
and i've got news for you he's the spirit lord and all spiritual things are his mm -hmm. worshiping him as god will open unto you a new room of the spirit where all things are yours i'll say it again worshiping him the holy ghost as god will open unto you a room of the spirit where all things are yours can you hear it no limits a life of no limits is that what you want in fact i've said this many times you will get a brand new bible all of those things that you thought that you had solid you were instructed them and taught them for years and all of a sudden they just go away because you've got a brand new bible mm -hmm. and it's you and the holy ghost in the earth walking together to the point where you honestly don't even know what you were even doing before are you there yet your wealth will increase listen if you can hear it i'm telling you things your wealth will increase your health will restore your youth will be renewed good teaching won't take you there just good pastoring won't take you there a good prophecy won't take you there and i'm not criticizing any of them only this can well welcome things are different over here i don't know if you've noticed that or not did you get into this room of holy ghost worship things are different over here i've been on all the other side i've done all the teaching i've done all the preaching i've pastored i've prophesied i've stood in all of those other offices have other people done it better than me undoubtedly but I'm telling you things are different over here when you worship the Holy Ghost as God you see things differently you talk differently you act differently it's a whole new world are you getting this yes I don't want to go there you don't have to go there but you won't get the reward mm -hmm. but I have a responsibility to walk in and speak from this place whether I like it or not to whom much is given much is required it's one reason why people don't go to the next level or go or enter into the new things everybody says all oh, that would be great mm -hmm. there's more responsibility that goes with it but everything works better over here your confession works better over here because it's behind the veil where the Spirit is Lord mm -hmm. live well, a responsibility to walk in and speak from this room and I have a responsibility to the people who are called to go with me I'm not going back I can't go back so I have a responsibility to not only say it and to speak the things from this room but I have a responsibility to the people that are called to go with me into the things that can only be obtained by going here there's there's certain rewards you can't have unless you go here and you're being established in the new with the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost God in the earth today learning how to walk with him as God Holy Ghost I pray for these people I worship you I thank you that you are God and right now you've entered into the rooms of these people you sit there and you look at them and you encourage them to come in and worship you and know you as god it's a wonderful day to walk with you the living spirit lord in the earth today and things are different say things are different, things are different. say things are, things are changing things work better, things work better. Over, here. over here i worship you holy ghost, you, holy ghost. in jesus name, in jesus name. amen, amen if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are the spirit lord you know how to take my money and 
multiply it and cause me to prosper in the way that you're accustomed to prosper I thank you for it I believe I receive it it's happening for me now in Jesus name the father amen Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God and